from this mysterious red lagoon to an eerie toxic saltified inland sea, here are the most treacherous lakes. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, bringing to you another epic video. Before we get started today, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Number 13. Horseshoe Lake Imagine if there was a lake out there that emitted enough high levels of carbon dioxide to the point where it actually became dangerous to people. It's not just cars or factories laying off this gas. Horseshoe Lake is located in California at Mammoth Mountain and for a long period of time it was considered to be harmless. That is until about 20 years ago when scientists began to notice trees around the lake begin to shrivel up and lose their leaves. In 2006, three people had to quickly leave the area to find shelter inside a cave due to a high volume of carbon dioxide. They didn't make it out to tell about it. People are still permitted to see the lake, but camping too close would be a rather treacherous idea. There's also a good chance that there are many poisonous oak trees in the area, so watch out. Number 12. Mono Lake If your camp counselor takes you to Mono Lake, whatever you do, don't drink the water. Not only is it one of the creepier looking lakes on this list, it's also highly toxic, but it wasn't always that way. At one point in time, the lake in Eastern California was home to trillions of brine shrimp, a unique type of fly that thrived here. It's an ancient saline lake that didn't have any fish and had a rich geological history. In modern times, it's basically a toxic sludge puddle after some poor ecological decisions were made. Freshwater streams that help keep water levels high were used for drinking water for the growing city of Los Angeles in 1941. Then finally they ended that in 1990, but the damage has already been done. The lake lost half of its volume, its salinity had doubled, and now it possesses chemicals like sulfates. Number 11. Lake Natron Located in Tanzania, this lake has the same pH level as bleach, making it rather treacherous. If you couldn't already tell by taking a look at this lake, it's definitely not a place you want to take a swim at. The visible layer of the lake is covered in reddish salt. Animals who enter the area don't always realize its pH level and typically receive some kind of skin damage. Flamingos who roam the area are susceptible to the hazards and can receive skin burns. The lake seems best suited for salt-loving bacteria, which is a part of a reason why the lake turns red. What's also mysterious about this lake is that it's able to reach a temperature of roughly 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it a little bit inhospitable to some animals looking to cool off. Number 10. The Boiling Lake of Dominica One of the world's hottest and most intense lakes out there that you definitely don't want to swim at is the Boiling Lake of the country of Dominica. These aren't the kind of hot springs you'd find in tourist brochures. It's filled with a bubbling gray-blue water that is normally hidden because of large clouds of water vapor. This lake formed from a crack or a hole in the Earth's crust, which is in the direct vicinity of an active volcano. Temperatures at the edge of the lake are roughly 190 degrees, while the center of the lake is boiling, meaning over 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The air around the lake is quite steamy as you can imagine, and it reeks of sulfur. There have been reports of people just getting close enough to where the mist from the lake will actually cause severe burns. Number 9. Lake Kayangan Possibly the most photographed place in the Philippines, the Kayangan Lake is located on this island country and displays many islands. It's said that this is the cleanest lake in the Philippines, but it's also one of the most dangerous. It displays many beautiful colors too. It's found on Koran Island and the lake has boasted tourism to Koran City, which is located in the southwest part of the Philippines. The city seems to be solely based on tourists who are there to see the nature and not exactly meant for partying. On TripAdvisor, some tourists claim that the rules here are getting pretty strict to keep the tourists in check and to keep the beautiful lake from becoming polluted. Swimming here was even banned. The current is known to force swimmers downward into the darkness and a swimmer had drowned recently in a mysterious circumstance. Number 8. Lake Okeechobee not only are the Everglades swarming with alligators, it's recently been infested with Burmese pythons, which are an invasive species and likely former pets. Lake Okeechobee seems like a mosquito-infested, still water-polluted swamp in the state of Florida. It's one of the shallowest lakes for its size, only reaching a depth of 13 feet. Due to a large amount of agriculture in the area, it's leading to an increase of phosphorus and cow manure getting in there. It's also been known to have toxic algae blooms. Many have turned a blind eye to the problem since sugar crops in the area are making a lot of money. Recently in 2019, they found a form of extremely dangerous algae known as blue-green algae, making it unsafe for swimming or even fishing. A lot of people weren't surprised by the news and never really had good vibes about this place anyway. Number 7. Jacob's Well, Texas 
This natural spreak in Cypress Creek, Texas is 12 feet in diameter but drops down to 30 feet in depth. Such a deep natural well isn't commonly found and it's been a popular place to swim for cave divers. However, it's claimed the lives of more than 8 divers and now you pretty much need to be a daredevil to get in there. It might look fun and inviting from the surface, but down below, you gotta watch out. It's naturally fed by an aquifer deep below. When people enter the third layer of the cave, it begins to get a little bit difficult to see what's going on. Number 6. Exploiting Lakes of Africa Some lakes in Central Africa have far higher CO2 levels than other places which can suddenly erupt under certain circumstances, such as a lake known as Lake Nyos in Cameroon where sudden explosions have been known to devastate the local population. In 1986, one spontaneous explosion took out roughly 2,000 people. Lake Kivu is the third most explosive lake located in the country of Rwanda and it certainly has the potential to be deadly since large amounts of people live nearby. Some of them are trying to extract the flammable gas in a risky process known as catalyst scrubbing. Number 5. Lake Champlain Right in between the two states of New York and Vermont, Lake Champlain was once a fisherman's paradise with plenty of landlocked Atlantic salmon. That was until it was introduced to an invasive species known as the lamprey. This jawless fish is classified as a cyclostomata, which includes other jawless round mouth fish like hackfish. Looking directly down the mouth of a lamprey might send chills down your spine. They resemble eels in a way, but don't have any scales. They use their sharp teeth to clamp down on animals and then give them some vampire treatment. Despite the lake being safe for drinking and swimming, the lampreys can still cause harm to humans. The pesky critters began showing up sometime in the 1800s. There are also some rumors of large sea monsters at this lake, so it might be good to express some caution. Number 4. Lake Chagan Also known as the Nuclear Lake in Kazakhstan, this is where the Russians were hoping to use nuclear devices for engineering projects, which already sounds like a bad idea. They detonated a large 140 kiloton nuclear bomb underground to produce a crater large enough for a lake. The bomb displaced 10 million cubic meters of soil from the ground. The site was chosen near a dry lake bed on the Chagan River. The crater measured 100 meters deep and 430 meters wide was filled with water from the river and a radioactive lake was formed. Soviets believed the lake would be suitable for wildlife, but every animal they brought here didn't last too long. Residents who live nearby the lake claim that the lake is contaminating and seeped into their tap water. In this photo, we can still see it testing positive for radioactive particles. Number 3. Lake Superior Many venture seekers might decide to come to Lake Superior to experience the breathtaking natural beauty, but it might not quite be as peaceful as you might imagine. Gusts of winds here have been known to terrorize kayakers and throw them off path. Some people have actually reported seeing a 30-foot tall wave at this lake. It also has the greatest depth of any of the Great Lakes too. It can go down in some places as far as 1,300 feet. Don't even think about trying to swim here during winter. Lake Superior is one of the youngest lakes on the North American continent and it never really seemed to get any warmer than 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It was created by retreating glacial ice after the ice age was over about 10,000 years ago. By surface area, it's the world's largest freshwater lake and contains 10% of the world's freshwater supply. But if you can't handle the cold temperatures, you might want to stay out. Number 2. Tonle Sap This freshwater lake in Cambodia is connected to the Mekong River Delta system and is known to expand and contract quite often. It has a wide ecosystem that's recently been protected under UNESCO. What's strange about this lake is that people actually live right over it instead of building on the banks of the lake. Otherwise, it's very likely that any village will become flooded. It's one of the most inhabited lakes and fishermen can make a decent living from the abundance of fish found here. During monsoon season though, there can be so much rain that it causes the lake to flow backwards, making it swell more than 5 times its normal size. And number 1. Lake Michigan there are many reasons why Lake Michigan is often considered to be one of the most treacherous lakes out there, but the main reason is simple. Very strong drift currents. The 307 mile long lake in North America between Canada and the US has been home to countless drownings and shipwrecks throughout history. The lake averages about 6 fatalities due to the strong current per year which is brought upon by strong winds. It was home to 24 in 2014. While each great lake poses their own problems, those who've done their research will tell you that Lake Michigan is unmatched. It seems like many people out there definitely overestimate their swimming ability. So what did you guys think of that video? Be sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more epic American Eye videos. We'll see you next time.